Autumn is without doubt my best or most favourite time of the year. You know, it's starting to get colder. The main thing is the big fish like to feed. The weather comes in a bit nasty and, and it puts a lot of anglers off. The lakes are a little bit quieter, but the big fish feed. Every autumn is, I always save some time with work and book some time off in autumn. It's just big fish time of year. You don't catch as many through the autumn, but what I tend to find is the few bites that you do get are generally the bigger fish. And I'd say 80%, 90% of my big fish captures that I've had over the years have all come in probably a six week period in autumn from sort of mid-September to possibly mid middle of November. That's probably the best time, in my opinion, for catching big fish. Not only that, the fish are always stacking on the weight at that time of year. Then and just before spawning, they're always in probably at their biggest weight and certainly a lot of fish that I catch this time of year are always three or four pound up at times on, on their summer weights. Going into the autumn I do tend to change my tactics a little bit so through the summer sort of messing about floaters, zigs, you know margin fishing, autumn is for me out and out bait fishing on a spot you know the, the, the fish like to feed this time of year but it's quite tricky because you still have to find there'll only be certain areas that the fish are going to feed in certain areas that they visit in and you kind of build up a picture of these areas sort of back end of the summer really some areas just die off and stop doing bites but on kingfisher at the moment it hasn't actually been that peggy the, the fish have been pretty well the captures have been pretty well spread all year round really it's quite unusual that a number of swims through the autumn have been doing just the odd fish here and there and no particular swim has really been ripping it. Normally there's one swim that stands out and it just keeps doing fish but it's been fantastic this autumn in that fish have been coming out all over the place which gives you a really good chance to get on fish you know. It's a busy day ticket water and it's not all about one swim and I love that. I got down on Sunday morning and it's middle of October and, and chances are it could well be my last trip of the year down here. I've got a lot on the next few weeks and um, by then it could well be too late. I may sneak one more trip in but the weather was horrendous. It was tipping it down relentlessly all morning. The, the, the journey down, the windscreen wipers just constantly going and um, I've turned up first thing Sunday morning 8 o'clock and I've had a quick walk round and it's pretty busy as you'd expect on a weekend but there was one swim that was free that was a, that in my mind was a pretty decent swim. Um, I fished the swim opposite the couple of weeks before and had the 40 and um, uh, on that particular trip before I'd seen a lot of fish in between like out in the middle in between the swim I'm fishing now and the swim I fished a couple of weeks ago so I'd earmark this area as an area that the fish had been visiting on my limited time that I'd fished the lake, I'd only done one night in, in autumn, I'd seen fish in this area, so it seemed like a really good place to start. And to be honest, the rain was setting all day. A lot of people weren't going to go home till the afternoon, so there was an empty peg, so I've dropped in it. It's a, it's a swim called the Rats. It has done a few fish in recent weeks, so that's always a bonus, knowing that you're in a swim that has done some bites. I didn't know a lot about the swim. I, I had done one night in there earlier in the year but it was quite weedy and there was no real clear spots but I had a good plum around, managed to find a spot that was rock hard, you know, that real hard drop, nice drag back, real nice and smooth and I just knew that was the spot. So being a member on, on here, I can use four rods which is handy so I decided to fish three on a spot and then I've got the fourth rod which um, one of my mates, Gary Dennis, who fishes here, told me there's another spot a bit further out and a bit further around to the right, and I thought that would do. Had a plum, real nice clear spot, exactly as he described it. So I put out one rod on that spot. Started off just by fishing small bits and pieces, you know, my usual spot mix, but I wanted this to be a bit of an experimental trip. So we're going into autumn, the bream tend to slow down a little bit. Um, last trip there was a lot of fish fizzing on me without me getting bites so I wanted to know what was going on so I scaled down fished a really really small hook bait just to see what was feeding in the swim if, if anything. Um, the first night I had a bream on cue just after dark just what you want when you when your rods are all set free on a spot managed to get the rod back out and then first thing in the morning it's ripped off again and I've had a tench 
so um, pretty uneventful. That I'd seen carp show in, but nothing in front of me. Um, and then the next afternoon, all of a sudden, or evening, the odd fish just shot, started showing just off the back of me. Then into darkness, last night was just ridiculous. There was fish showing in front of me at times every five seconds. That you could just hear the fish coming out of the water. They sounded like they were off the back of me, but it was really, really dark, and I couldn't really see how, where they were or how far, but all I knew is they were out there, and they were, in, they were up my end of the lake. So I was a bit disappointed when I woke up seven o'clock in the morning. I'd not had a single bleep, and I sort of sat there thinking, oh, this is Kingfisher over and over, you know, the fish in front of me, and I've not had a bite. And literally, as I'm thinking that, the right-hander had gone and it just a couple of bleeps and I just thought initially I thought that's a swan looked out no swan then it just went did, 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 and it was away and there was no question in it no bream in my mind nothing it was a carp and I've hit into it it's hit the surface pretty early plodded around didn't feel huge but you just never know in these places and everything went to plan it's come in fairly easily kited round to the left kited round to the right popped up into the net first time and it was a 31 pounder so that's a result you know I've, I've always said on this lake one fish a trip is a result anything else is a bonus after that so I've, I've got the 30 pounder in the net I've weighed it just plonked it in the edge ready to do the photos and get the I quickly got the rod back out pinged it out to the spot went down with a lovely donk and that, that was it one cast and we were on the spot so Clip the bobbin on, everything, walk back, and I've just kind of sat there taking the moment in. I've got one, got one in the sling. Right result. But things got a little bit better than that. It wasn't long, not many minutes had passed, and then one of my other rods, the, the middle rod's gone, off the other baited spot. Now this one weeded up early on, and then it once it was out the weed, it just stayed deep and just plodded, 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 plodded into another weed bed got it out it plodded around and it just felt a good fish but you know what they all do I've actually not had a fish under 30 pound out of this lake this year so you know you're fishing for big fish and, and they all fight quite hard but when the fish has just come up in the water it's just hit the surface and his, his back just broken his dorsal fin just poked out a little bit and, it, and again his tail was so far away from his dorsal I just knew it was a big one the second time it hit the surface about 20 yards out this time it was facing me and I could see the width of it and I just knew that it was something special. As it got a little bit closer the water's gin clear and I could see it was a mirror carp and there ain't that many big mirror carp in here. The majority of the big ones in this lake are commons but this one was one of the mirrors and I knew it was it was one or two fish really and um, by this time a few people had gathered around the swim they'd seen a few of the regulars had seen that i was playing a fish and, and they were behind me and as i've got it in the net i kind of knew i kind of knew exactly what fish it was but having not seen the fish before and only seen a couple of photos i wasn't entirely sure i just you know i just give the lift net a little lift just to see like how big is this you know it, it looks big but how big and yeah it's big you know when you, you can barely lift it out of the water I knew it was big so um, one of the lads behind me instantly just said yep yeah, that's it that's the big mirror biggest in the lake one called the Cy Harris mirror um, I'd seen I'd seen various photos of it over the years and it was looking bigger than what I'd seen it before um, it had last come out in the summer at 43 pounds and I just knew it was probably going to be a little bit up carrying his autumn weight so we've um, now got two fish in the edge at the same time, you know, so I've quickly, quickly put that one into a sling and got the first one out, photographed the 31 pounder and um, slipped that one back. Well, there we, there we go. No sooner had Alex, the cameraman turned up and the right handers ripped off with this beautiful, beautiful common. 31 pounds 14 ounces and a really really nice start to the session there was a lot of fish showing in front of me last night and I woke up really disappointed this morning to have not caught but literally I was just sat there thinking is it worth doing another night and bang it's it's gone and uh, this one's the prize but things got a little bit better and we just weighed this one just stuck it in a sling ready to do some photos 
and the next rod's gone and let me tell you that one is an absolute beauty and a hell of a lot bigger than this one so let's get this one back and let's have a look at the big mirror that we've got in the net and then we've got the special fish out brought it up onto the mat and a couple of people helping out and we've weighed it Forty-five twelve. Forty-five twelve. And the needle was spun round past forty-five pounds straight away. I could not believe it. Forty-five pound twelve ounces. The needle setting on. <laughs> Would you look at that? The Cy Harris mirror, the biggest mirror in the lake. Forty-five pounds and twelve ounces. How's that for a morning's work? And it was just an incredible fish, immaculate. His mouth was perfect, never had a blemish on his body, and it just looked glorious. It was really filled out, you know. It was like that high off the mat when it was led on it. It was just a chunk, so um, as you can imagine, I'm just over the moon, just cradling the biggest mirror in the lake in autumn. Uh, I think I've been told it's the second biggest weight has ever been out at, so it's right up there, and that's exactly why I love my autumn fishing. <laughs> there we go, the biggest mirror in Kingfisher. I couldn't be any more made up with this one. Just look at it, beautiful. Let's get her back. Yes! <laughs> <laughs>